What's going on guys, in today's video I'm going to try and keep it short and concise, we're going to go over all of the Go High Level features, or at least most of the Go High Level features in this tutorial. Up here you can see I'm in my video account, so this is pretty much a test account that I use just for YouTube videos. And here I have this information blurred out, but I have my main account, and then I have some other accounts down here. And in the agency view, let's go ahead and check this out. Here in the agency view, you guys can see I'm in the SaaS configurator, and these are the different subscription fees that I have. This is the one I use the most, the 397 plan. I onboard a client and start charging them 397 per month, depending on whether how many features I want to give them or how many features they need. It really depends. But these numbers are fully flexible and you can change some of the other information as well. I actually even have an onboarding tab for all clients when they sign up. They just go ahead and enter their information and press submit. And then they get like 10 short videos to go through so they understand the software as well. Now in the sub accounts tab, these are all of the different clients that you guys are gonna have and they're all gonna be in this one area here. I do have it blocked out because a lot of it has like detailed information like addresses and phone numbers. But when you're in the agency view, you can view all of your clients from here. Account snapshots, this is really just like website templates, funnel templates. If I wanted to create a new sub account, I would click here and click select and create new account. I'm not gonna do that, but I have my own snapshots here that I've made in the past and some that I've also imported. So bouncing back to my video account, which is a sub account that's listed under the agency view, you can connect all these different things and have everything synced in one platform. In the dashboard tab here, you're gonna have an entire view of this sub account's information, you know, the different opportunities, open, closed, or lost opportunities, as well as pipeline value and conversion rate, how well you're able to convert certain sales and convert certain customers. When you start onboarding clients as well and actually have some money coming in, there's gonna be a little graphic here of a little funnel breaking down even more information, it's really cool. Now moving on to the conversations tab, guys, this is an all-in-one CRM, which stands for Customer Relationship Manager. You guys can send emails and texts just from this one platform here and it makes it super, super easy and just really convenient because sometimes notifications get missed on your phone when you're sending a text or email. It's easy to get overwhelmed and forget certain things. I know I did and you probably do too. But now since it's all here in one dashboard, you're gonna be able to contact people from one spot. And now calendars here, I really don't even use calendars for my own personal SaaS business. But if you really wanted to, you go ahead and click book appointment and then add your contact. And then obviously select the time and the date. It's pretty much like any other calendar. And now contacts, I'm the only contact within the sub account because I made this as a test. But when you guys have clients onboarded, you're gonna be able to see the different contacts and different customers within that sub account. And you can also send them a text or email right from the contacts tab here, as well as add a tag to them so they fit into a certain category if you have things split up. And then this feature right here is really cool itself. You can actually select contacts and send them a review request. So say for example, you have a coffee shop and the coffee shop's contacts are all in here. What you could do is you could select all these and then you go ahead and press send review request. And what that'll do is it'll either text or email them your choice, requesting them to leave a review on the business, which is really cool. It pushes them up so much higher on Google and pushes them up so much higher on Google Maps. So they show up as a more popular business in their area. Now moving on to opportunities. As you can see, you have everything split up here and pretty much like different steps of a funnel. It just makes it so much easier when everything's organized. And now payments. If you're in the United States, you're most likely gonna be using Stripe and Stripe is you know, one of the most popular payment processors here in the States. And you're gonna have everything here. You're gonna have all the invoices, all the payments just in this one dashboard here. Now that the really fun and creative stuff that I use all the time, this is the marketing tab. You guys can actually link all your socials in this one Go High Level platform and actually send out a scheduled post for all of them across all platforms at the same time, which is really cool, really convenient. Here at emails, we can go to campaigns. We can go ahead and click email marketing templates. And then we have an entire array of choices, You know, no matter what niche you have, right? You can go through any of these. But what you can do is select one of these, go ahead and create an email list and go ahead and create a really professional email sequence instantly. And this here, the automations tab is my all time favorite to use. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it looks like. Let's go ahead and jump into one of the automations here. For this particular example, it says appointment calendar main website. So on my personal website, whenever someone enters their information on their calendar, they're gonna fall into this exact sequence of automations. So assigned to user, what does that mean? Pretty much I'm the user that gets assigned. And then I would get a notification on my phone saying blank name just booked a phone call appointment with you and then i only have to text them because guess what i have an automatic follow-up text to go out and it says hi blank name your review call for whatever time has been confirmed yada 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 so i don't even have to text these people back because i have this automation here to follow up with them and then i have this here to wait about a minute and then i go ahead and send out a confirmation email to follow up with them saying hey you go ahead and, ahead and booked your appointment or your phone call. And then I go ahead and text them once again here as a reminder and then wait. And then I'm gonna text them the day of saying, hey, our call is today. Uh, I want you to respond with yes to confirm it. And then I'll get a notification four hours prior to the actual call. 
and then it goes on and on and then we go ahead and call them it's really that crazy how you can automate all this stuff and now the websites tab i have just this example luxury booking tab let's go ahead and click this this is strictly a template i didn't change any of this i literally just used this for a TikTok that i made you can just see right here the template's super clean and like i said i didn't change one thing it came like this it came pre-built like this and if you wanted to go ahead and select a new new funnel or new website you would go ahead to the library and just like the email templates you have a ton of website and funnel templates to, to choose from so you know, like I said, it doesn't matter what niche you have, you have all these over here. Plus up here, if you have a course or a different product, you can go ahead and check the analytics, check the dashboard and check a lot of information to change things. And forms, what's a form? I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now. Forms are basically what shows up on a website right when you click on it and it'll say, hey, enter your information here if you wanna claim this offer. And then usually enter your first name, your email or your phone number, uh, depending on whatever order that is. But let's go ahead and click on this one. This one's a default one. I didn't even make this one. This is one of the ones that came with Go High Level. But like I said, it has full name, the subject, email address, phone number, and then your question. And then I go ahead and click submit. And what's so cool too is you can actually link a form to an automation. So whenever someone submits an automation, you can link the form to the automation to have them get follow up texts and emails right away. So you have no uh, hands on texting back or following up with leads because there's a fun fact if you wait more than five minutes to follow up with a lead the chance of booking them or signing them severely decreases by around 80 percent and that we want to we want to make sure you follow with them like immediately as well inside of the sites tab you have the chat widget where you can have a little pop-up message in the bottom right have it say any message you want let me go show you exactly what it looks like in practice and here we go at the bottom right we have the chat message let me move my face cam a little bit more so we click on it, then we enter our name, phone number, and the message we want to interact with with the chatbot. And what's so cool is when somebody presses send, you can have this chatbot linked to another automation. So then you get notified whenever someone interacts with the chatbot, and you can either follow them manually or actually set up another automation for the chatbot to have automatic responses, which is super, super awesome. And the reputations tab, I pretty much already went over this really briefly previously when you want to go ahead and send a review request but this is the entire dashboard where you can manage everything and see everything in this one little tab. Now the reporting tab, you guys can integrate Facebook and even Google ads, you guys can see up here. These are you know sample data, so these aren't real numbers, but you can view everything from in here. It's really crazy how everything's integrated into Go High Level, and you can literally manage pretty much everything about your business right here for all of your clients. And here's the Facebook one as well. It's just the same as the Google ads one. But you can really look at everything you can track. It's it's amazing. It's like the Facebook and Google Ads dashboard right here in the Go High Level. And once again, here's the onboarding tab. You guys are not going to have this when you sign up. I added this myself, and I actually show you guys how to do this inside of my free course as well. Set everything up with Go High Level in 24 hours in my free course. There's no paywall, no nothing like that. If you want to upgrade your current SMMA business model or start a SaaS company right now, make sure to go check the link in the description. Like I said, there's no paywall. All you guys do is enter your contact information and then you have access to the entire free course for life. And you guys can set up your entire company in less than 24 hours. I have it set up that way so you can start really quick. I actually had someone go through and they finished in less than three hours and now they're prospecting for clients. So once again, the link is in the description. There's not many spots left. I have actually a good amount of people in there already going through it. So if you want to get in before I do wind up closing it off, then make sure to jump in right now. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this Go High Level tutorial. I really wanted to go over most of this stuff briefly because it looked like a lot of people were looking for something like this and I wanted to provide that for you guys. So I'll catch you guys in the next video.